All right, we are back with yet another video. I just got done doing the teardown of the i7, and now I'm going to tear down the Plus, which is the automatic disposal unit that it docks into. I don't think anybody's ever taken one of these apart and put it on YouTube. So, let's first see how this even works. Basically, <clears throat> you put a bag in. This is so it's probably this full, and it's probably cleaned itself out 20 times, so this can hold quite a bit. So that just simply goes down in there. Now, <clears throat> we're going to take this apart. I have never done this, so hopefully it goes smoothly. I'll start with this tube. And this should separate completely. Or not. Let's see. Now, a couple more holding it on back here. Either that, or this is just holding in the back plate, which it looks like actually. But regardless, we're going to have to take all these out anyway, so. All good. Okay. okay, that did loosen it. So this back screw holds in, you know, this back plate and this top plate, bottom plate, I mean. Okay, I'm gonna take off back piece first. God, I hope I don't break this. Like I said, I've never done this. Hmm. Let's go ahead and take these out, even though I don't think I need to. Unless there's probably... Maybe there's a screw heading behind here. This is just the... the cord holder. Kind of weird behind here is some sort of accessory port of some sort. Because there's nothing on the back of this that would have connected. So, of course, I don't know what that is either. Oh, I bet you this pops out. This pops out, I'll just screw back there a bit. There we go, got that out, and there's no screw. However, I do think this plastic bit was holding it in, so this should slide out now. I 
That's not the way. I think it's actually just a sticker. Yeah, there we go. See? So, we're going to go ahead and let's do this. See what I do for you, YouTube. All right, let's get the other side up. Yep, just a sticker. So that's cool. We figured it out. Now this will slide right off. Okay, after I take this off. Now it will slide right up. There we go. Okay. So now we got the motherboard. Unclip that. Uh, all right, white wire top. I do not want to break this. But I also want to see what's inside of it. Whoops. That just goes in like that, so no big deal. Alright. Now where are we at? Let's see. Ripping this one apart scares me a little bit more than the entire vacuums. This looks a lot more complex. Why is this held on so damn tight? Oh, okay, I take that back. Here we go. I got it off finally. So, your robot docks on the plate here, sits here, makes a nice seal, and then the vacuum motor in here sucks it up straight into the bag. So there we go. Didn't think I was going to get that off. Here's the charging cables. Of course the motherboard. Alright, screw it. Now I'm, now I'm invested. Yep, okay, good. So this tape is not just for decoration. There's two more screws. Okay. Alright, so it does. Uh, let's see. I want to show you that motor. Screw it. Let's go all the way. At least these all use the same screws. That's a plus.
There's the motherboard. I have to to detach a couple more things. Okay. So there's the motherboard. Or the main control board, whatever you want to call it. This is the sensor that the robot connects with to know where to come back home. Let's see. Tiny wires don't break. There, oh, we got the motherboard out. We got this thing completely detached. Whew. And then this. It's the plate for the motor that does the main suction. Here's a mount for the motor so it doesn't vibrate so much. I guess we might as well take the motor out and turn it around for you. And uh, that will be pretty much pretty much the full disassemble. And there we have it, there's the motor. This baby spins, creates a vacuum, goes down that tube, sucks all the dirt out of the dustbin of the vacuum, and that's all she wrote. They actually use a Panasonic, Panasonic motor for this. you ever need to replace the motor. Alright guys. Well that is the teardown. Hope you liked it. Get to see how these function and work. Get to see what parts they use and uh, 
Time to put it all back together. Yeehaw! All right, hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe, and I will start putting this together. See ya.